Sally here. I'm at Gil's Pet Shop checking out aquariums. I've selected one fish, Bubbles. Now I'm looking for more fish and a new aquarium. Fish tanks come in several different shapes and sizes. The experts at the pet store said that the number of fish I can have depends on the volume of the tank that I choose. Volume is the amount of space that a three-dimensional shape, like a fish tank, occupies. You wait here, Bubbles. One way to measure volume is to determine the number of cubes it takes to fill a three-dimensional shape. Let's start with this aquarium, which is a rectangular prism. How many of these cubes will it take to fill the aquarium? This doesn't work. We'll need to stack the cubes so that they fill the aquarium without any gaps. The dimensions of each cube are one inch by one inch by one inch. So the volume of one cube is one cubic inch. The total number of cubes that will fit in the aquarium equals the volume of the aquarium in cubic inches. Let's first determine the number of cubes that will cover the bottom of the aquarium. Each row contains six cubes, and there are a total of 12 rows. One layer is made up of 72 cubes. The bottom of the aquarium, or base of the prism, measures 6 inches by 12 inches. So the area of the base is 72 square inches. If the aquarium were only one inch tall, the volume would be 72 cubic inches. But it takes eight layers of 72 cubes to fill this aquarium. That's 576 cubes. Since each layer is one inch tall, the height of the prism is eight inches. So the volume is 576 cubic inches. Let's describe what we did with a formula. We found the volume of this aquarium by taking the area of the base times the height of the prism. We usually represent area of the base with a capital B and height with a lowercase h. For a rectangular prism, the area of the base equals the length of the base times the width of the base. This aquarium measures 6 inches by 12 inches by 8 inches. So the volume is 576 cubic inches. Like I said, fish tanks come in all shapes and sizes. How would you like your cool new home to be a triangular prism or a cylinder? Let's try a triangular prism. The volume is found in the same way as a rectangular prism by multiplying the area of the base by the height of the prism. As you know, the base of this prism is a triangle. Again, we can cover the base using cubes, but the cubes do not fit exactly like in the rectangular prism. How many cubes cover the base of the triangular prism? Here's six, seven, eight. Since each cube covers one square inch of the base, the area of the base of the triangular prism is eight square inches. If the aquarium were only one inch tall, the volume would be eight cubic inches, but it takes five layers to fill it. The volume of this triangular prism is eight times five, or 40 cubic inches. The formula, volume equals area of the base times the height, still works. This time, the base is a triangle. Remember, we find the area of a triangle by taking one half the base times the height. We find the area of the base by taking one half times four, the base of the triangle, times four, the height of the triangle. For this prism, we found that the area of the base was eight square inches, and the height of the prism was five inches. So the volume is 40 cubic inches. Figuring out the volume of a cylinder is very similar. The formula is still volume equals area of the base times the height. First, we find the area of the circular base. Remember, the formula for area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. Let's use 3 and 14 hundredths to approximate pi. The radius of the base is 4 inches. 4 squared is 16. So the area of the base is approximately 3 and 14 hundredths 
times 16 square inches, or about 50 square inches. To approximate the volume, take the area of the base times the height. The height of the cylinder is 10 inches, so the volume is approximately 500 cubic inches. What if I choose a tank for my fish that has an odd-shaped base? Can I still determine the volume using the same method? No problem! The formula for finding the volume of any prism or cylinder is always volume equals the area of the base times the height. The area of this base is equal to 20 square inches. Next, we take 20 square inches times the height which is 10 inches. The volume is 200 cubic inches. This tank is too big for just you, Bubbles. To find the volume of cylinders and prisms, you just need to multiply the area of the base times the height. Congratulations, you have just been schooled in volume. Problem solved.